and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi folks, I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Because we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Brad found something shiny. He's got him enthralled. It's fun. Today we're going to talk about the single best fix. You can do this in six minutes for neck hump. Neck it's hump. It's also called buffalo hump. Or dowagers? No, dowagers is lower. It is. Dowagers oh. is more the thoracic area. So I always make that mistake too. Well, we've got a lot of comments correcting us on the dowagers. A little history of to it. To it. We don't have to get into that. Now. All right. By the way, if you're new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Go to bobandbrad.com. Go to the giveaway section because we're always giving something away. This week, we're giving away a TENS unit. This is for pain control. You can no, oh, yeah. no longer need medication if you use this thing. <laughs> well, you might not need medication. Some people, it works that well. Yeah, some people, it works that well. Uh, go to the giveaway section. It'll also be pinned to the top of the page on Facebook. That's right. Um also, go to Instagram, Twitter, or TikTok if you want a 60-second version of our program. Yep. -er. And we have a podcast. That's right, a podcast. Everybody has a podcast, and so do we. That's right. So, we're talking about neck hump here. How does the neck hump even form, Brad? How does this come about? Like well, your, it's a postural thing. It is a postural thing. I mean, it, there could be some genetic involvement as well. Well, this is what happens, Brad. Let's let's get right into it. So, you're you're if you have bad posture, Brad, want to show forward head posture there? And you do it over time, a yeah, long I'll go period the of time. Same, same yeah, the, same there, there's a head right here. Yeah, yeah. use your imagination. So the first seven bones of the neck, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right here is the seventh. That's the bone right here that's sticking out on Brad. I can feel it right there. That's C7. That's right. If you have forward head for years, what's going to happen is that bone is going to really stick out. But what it's interesting what the body does, Brad. The body, in order to protect the joints, mm -hmm. or it actually starts laying down some fat. Mm. So you can actually, not only is the bone sticking out there, but you'll feel like, it feels like a bump, bump there. Like there's yeah, fatty yeah, the it's tissue there. Tissue, it's squishy and uh, it's fat. Yep. So your body, that's your body's response. And it doesn't look very attractive. I'm sorry. It doesn't. No. But there's something we can do about yes, this. Yes. So we're going to want to correct this. Now, I have found the best way to correct this. And in fact, someone who's very close to me has started using this. Oh. Um, is to actually, you have to stretch and mobilize this area. Mm -hmm. it, it, I'm going to show you some exercises to do too, but the f number one thing you want to do is you got to mobilize this area. And the best way we have found to do that, we'll show you some simple ways. We'll show you someone that'll cost you very little money, and we'll show you some that'll cost a little more money. Right. But what you're going to want to do, Brad, if you want to turn around, let's let's show this first. Oh, sure. Oh, the sack. Yep. Yeah, this is not too much money. Right. So this one, we're going to go ahead. Actually, we'll go this way, Brad. Do you want me to have, have my neck this hump? this way. Oh, no, yes, no yes. you don't need to put it up. So we're going to actually put a tennis ball in a sock, and you're going to have it so it's going to be positioned here. I'll, I'll show you against the wall when he does this. Here, here, here for like one minute on each spot. And that's going to stretch this whole area out. So if you are forward head, that's going to actually want to pull you right back again. And these are really, these are, are held together by strong ligaments. Right. This whole bone to bone. So they really need some aggressive stretching. Like just doing exercises generally don't, doesn't do it. Particularly if you're not a, if you're a sedentary person and you don't do a lot of physical activity, then it's even going to be a little more, but you can get after it. Yeah. But I'll, what are look, you doing there, I'm going to take him one out. Oh, there's, yeah. there's two in there. Oh, so two, I, two tennis balls. Yeah. So yeah. I'm going to have Brad show this to you. You don't, have to, you don't have to buy a tennis ball either. Just go down to the local tennis court and there'll be some laying on the side. <laughs> just steal, saying, steal, you know. Steal from a little kid. <laughs> There you go. So this is a nice thing about the sock. You can kind of, I'm going to put it in position number one, then we're going to go down and two. Now you're going to find out something nice here that works well. So I'm going to go here and you can see I'm putting my body weight into it and I'm going to roll. I don't want to put it on the spine, those little bumpies on the spine, the spinous processes. And if you can actually roll up and down a little bit and get more than just one spot, and now I'd go for a minute, like Bob says, but we're not. And you can even go time. hands up overhead. Yeah. You know, oh yeah. You really want to yep. stretch it? Yep. And do angels, small mm. angels. Oh, I. 
my, my my wife calls me an angel once. Oh yeah, that was a rare event. Yeah. Well, so there, I, I'm going to go down. To, now we do this on all on both sides. The reason we're starting against the wall is because for most of you, this is going to be aggressive enough. Yeah. Um. Eventually, we want to get you onto the floor doing the same thing. Right. But that's going to be a lot more aggressive. For many of you, you won't be able to tolerate that for weeks. Right. You might have to exactly. use the ball on the mm -hmm. wall for, for uh, uh, quite a period of time. Right. You'll uh, know if it doesn't, if it feel, starts to feel good, then you're ready to go right. down. Now, when you lie on the floor, you can also even put a towel on this. Sure. To help blunt it a little bit. Mm -hmm. And you also talk about putting pillows underneath your head to start off with. Mm -hmm. But the thing that we... Now, now, when you're on the floor, you can use a lacrosse ball tube. Um, Which is more aggressive. Yeah. So what we really like, though, and we've been big advocates of this, uh, Steve August out of uh, Austra uh, New Zealand. New Zealand. Sorry, He's a physical August. therapist. He's going to be on our podcast. Oh, good. Yeah. Really? So I can't wait to talk to him. Oh, wow. So he invented this. It is a bit pricey. Mm -hmm. But I, I'll tell you, I, this is what I bought for that person that I know. Sure. Uh, because I think it's worth it. Right. Um, it's just, it's it's very well made, but it's just the right size. Right. Well, that's what it's designed for. Now, what I would suggest is you start with a tennis ball, a cross right, ball. Right, right. Use it for a few weeks. And when you decide, you know, it really is helping you and you use it consistently and you're going to, yeah. then it's time. Then to it's time to step up. Yeah. And, and so um, I, what I do is every morning I... I don't go a day without this because it really helps with the knots too, by the mm -hmm. way, in the upper back. I, I go ahead and put it in a place like this and I actually do my leg stretches, Brad, when I'm doing this. Yeah. I'll do up against the railing and... Well, you don't have to the, tell us. No, I don't have any detail. We don't. It's a personal thing. Just carry on So there. what's cool about this is Steve includes a booklet. Yeah. And this is, is a comprehensive booklet. that I, I know it seems very thin, but how many pages is that, Brad? And that thing goes over everything. My wife, yeah. wife actually read that. She probably read more of it than you have. Yeah, she yeah, did. Yeah, it's about 32 pages. Yeah, and it's very comprehensive. And he talks about putting the arms overhead. He talks about using pillows. And so, again, I can hit each spot for like a minute and just relax. Yeah, you don't have to. So, yeah, people may not be. Yeah, so you put the pillow there. That makes a quite a difference in comfort. Now, I can lift my butt up and work it even harder mm -hmm. you know so it's just i it's gotten to the point with this thing where i i didn't use it one day because of a funeral and i had huge knots in there i'm sure yeah. the funeral didn't help too well but, yeah that's not but i i actually keep one at our cabin now too because i i just don't want to go a day without using sure. it. sure yeah it's you just, take it on vacation yep yeah. and I, I think it's really made a difference in my posture um i still have to work on it very hard but yeah. It, it it works really well, and again, like you said, we're we're giving you inexpensive options too. Give them a try. Um, now I'm going to show a couple of exercises, Brad. Yes, yeah, so so you really need to. Once you get things loosened up, you want to maintain it. Right. So first of all, it is chin tucks. You know, obviously we're going to do these. So you, Brad's going to show it from the side in the chair. Yeah. I, well, I just think you can do them standing, which is fine. But actually, in a yeah. chair is probably the preferred way because you have support for your thoracic back yeah and what's nice you can do some actually over pressure mm -hmm. yep. you can take your fingertips or you can take the crook of your thumb like that and push back those are nice ones to do throughout the day as a reminder mm. and to reposition your neck that's right now the next one brad this is a new one you've never heard of oh. but you've kind of seen the version of it yeah it's ywtls i think you can say ymca but yeah uh, what is this about so why so you're squeezing back. Why? You're, you're, why are we doing this? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's sorry, a that why. Was a y. I, well, okay. W's. Now oh, you are like yeah, this. Famous W. And then T's. And then the L's are like this. Oh, See, it's oh, an L. Yeah, that is a, and that, then you go back. You, so you're working upper trap, middle trap, and lower trap. Yeah, and, and you're externally rotating the arm this way. So yeah. you're stretching the chest. Sure. So it's comprehensive. Why? W T L. We gotta start a song. Why W T L? Yeah. This is what? <laughs> All right. Last one, Brad. You've never seen this one either. I kind of like this one. I seen a chiropractor well, do this. You one. must have been really doing your homework. I've been to doing come my up homework. With these things. So you go cl pretty close to a wall, 
and you're going to put the arm up like this, Brad. Yeah, yeah. And you're going to turn your head, and yeah. then you bend back. And what did I figured this out? What this does? This locks the, the neck in place. Yep. And now all the pressure is occurring at C7. Oh, I see what you're see, saying. See what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, see like this, yeah, and I go like that. That's working right on that neck hump. Can you can you see his arm? He's kind of got the same color shirt as that. Oh, yeah. so I'll go on this side up, turn the neck, and then go back, and it gives a good stretch. It, right at T7. You know, and then looking over your shoulder is just the motion that people in general lose as right. you get older. So it's going to help you that Shows way. Shows you two benefits there. That's right. We're always helping you out in multiple ways. Yeah, it's a comprehensive approach. Remember, Brad, and I can fix just about anything. Except for a broken heart. And the podcast probably is not going to help with the heart. Podcast? <laughs> with the backpack. <laughs> What am I going to say, you know? Wait till I hit 60. <laughs> yeah. All right, thanks. <laughs>